Yo, what's poppin', people? It's your boy Alex Ortiz with 360 Motorsports Magazine. And this is a little, there's another little segment on Killer B here. And I just want to get you guys' opinion. I am think I'm trying to figure out if I should keep the front fender on this guy or leave it fenderless like I have been. You know, just some, you know, I just want to get you guys' perspective on it. So I left it fenderless right now. Uh, I think it looks kind of a little bit more aggressive for a scooter than, you know, than with the fender, but this is the fender right here. And I took it off because, you know, I'm, I'm into the mini motor movement and everything, and I like how some of the like the the groms and you know, and after they're stretched and lowered, and you know, like some of the ruckuses and everything, how they look without a fender on there, and you know, it looks pretty sweet. But this is pretty much what the fender is going to look like on there. It's hard to do this with one hand, so you got to bear with me. It's not going to be up here or anything like that. It's going to pretty much just sit like that. And that's what it's going to look like. Nah. I don't know. I'm up in the air with it. I kind of like it. But then again, I don't. I'm thinking it's just going to like take away. No, I'm not sure. I know I'm gonna need to put something up there. I got a lot of plastic. I'm gonna, you know, I need to do a lot of fabricating, a little bit more fabricating. But yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what you know if I should just leave it on or take it off. But when I first started riding this thing, I left it off because, like I said, I was I'm big into the mini moto movement. And I like how these guys like pretty much like modify other scooters and mini bikes and everything. So that's what I'm doing with this guy. That's that's where I'm at with this guy. I'm wondering if I should leave the fender on or take it off. So need you guys help. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Fender off or fender on. How'd you guys see it on? That's how it looks off. Me personally, I like it with it off. You know, but I'm thinking about trying to find a way to, I might, I'm gonna have to do a lot of cutting and fabricating, but I might have to take these sides off and just Mount it up against there. It's gonna be pushed back a bit too, so that it's like the tip of it is gonna be flush with this. Cause I got a lot of sh stuff up under there, like wires and everything that you know I don't want moisture to pretty much touch, like rain or anything. If I'm getting caught in the rain, I don't know if you guys can see that. I already got a little mud right there, dried up mud and everything. But yeah. I also got to put some plastic right here. The thing about painting this, I don't know if you guys can see it. Focus, focus, there we go. Might paint that yellow. It's already painted black, actually, you know, the, um, it's rust proof, proof. All this is rust proof, so. Because it is a Chinese scooter, but I'm definitely going to get some Japanese internals. And I already got a couple of Japanese internals. So I'm just going to, you know, pretty much have a. Chinese outside, Japanese inside. <laughs> but yeah. That's just that's it for that for this one. You know, I just want to know what you guys think. And like I said, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you, you know what you, your opinion. You know. And that'll be pretty much it. Alrighty guys. Thanks a lot. Let me know something. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for watching, and we'll get with you guys in the next segment. Peace, all, oh. and remember, people, keep it popping.